Germs are everywhere. They live on surfaces like tables, door handles, light switches, on your mobile phone, on jewellery, on your skin and even inside your body. Many of them aren't harmful to us. In fact, there are numerous types that work in harmony with our body to keep us healthy. Of course, some germs are harmful and can make us ill. If they gain entry into the body, such as through a cut in the skin, breathed in through the lungs, or if you eat something without washing your hands, they can cause an infection. Germs can spread very easily, and our hands are particularly good at picking them up and spreading them from and to things that we touch, which increases the risk of them spreading to people. Despite this, many germs, including coronaviruses, are easily inactivated or removed by simply washing your hands with soap and water or by applying an alcohol hand rub. Disposable gloves can protect your hands from dirt and should be worn if you think you may come into contact with bodily fluids or feces. But if you touch an infected surface, the gloves themselves can become contaminated, which means they can still spread germs in exactly the same way that ungloved hands do. For example, let's say you touch an infected tissue with gloves on. You carry on with your usual day and without thinking about it you rub your eye then, later on, you hand a glass of water to someone you're caring for. The germs from the tissue have effectively been passed on to anything you touch, which means that you and this gentleman could become ill. This is why gloves must be put on immediately before one task, taken off immediately after it's done, and thrown away. You still need to wash your hands after removing the gloves too, as germs can pass from the gloves onto your hands as you take them off. Like many other germs, the coronavirus is mostly spread by droplets, which are breathed out from the lungs and can directly enter another person's mouth, nose or eyes, allowing it to enter the body. As we've seen, if the infected droplets find their way onto surfaces, such as if an infected person blows their nose, then touches a door handle, the virus can then survive there, meaning someone else could become infected if they touch it too. This is why it's so important to follow appropriate procedures for cleaning surfaces, to wash your hands properly and often, particularly before and after contact with people you're caring for, to follow current advice on PPE, such as when to wear eye protection, disposable aprons or gloves, and to wear a surgical mask appropriate for the situation you're working in. These measures can prevent the coronavirus and many other harmful germs from spreading.